What's up guys? So this week in the shop, we have this Porsche Boxster. Uh, we wrapped this a while ago in like a satin Miami blue. Uh, we peeled the whole thing, we've disassembled it. We're now starting to wrap it in a printed forged carbon. And this is printed on a metallic film, so it's got a really cool kind of shine to it. And then we had a Hexus green that came in gloss and the customer wanted it in satin or a matte. So we actually had the whole roll laminated. And now since it's Hexus, it's a little bit thicker film and it's laminated. So this is now super, super thick film around a very curvy car. So it's actually a little bit harder than we thought. Obviously we'll make it work, um, but just doing this panel, we had to use an IR heater and three different people just to stretch it out and get it to lay. A couple really hard parts on this car is the door handles and the disassembly. Like in order to even get the door handle off of this car, it requires us to take the full door panel off, um, unplug the battery, take the airbag off, take the second part of the door off, then go from the back just to get the door handle and the mirror of this car. So that's a couple hours of work just for disassembly on what could be a pretty simple part. Um, the door handle itself, so this is, this is the last door handle that we did, still wrapped in the blue. If you can see how, what kind of door handle this is. So in order to wrap it properly, you have to fully disassemble the door handle and now wrap this in probably one, two, three, four, five, six, if I had to guess, different pieces, reassemble it and then put it back on the door, re-put the door panel on. So some of these cars, just the intricate parts make it extremely difficult compared to, you know, I don't know, a Tesla or something like that. So let me show you the film and how it was laminated. So this is the original Hexus color that we got. You can see it's a gloss color. Um, so we sent it down the road to get laminated. The lamination was only 54 inches wide. So you can see the original color of the film here, and then you can see the lamination there. Gives you kind of an idea of what, what it's like to laminate something. So when we first got this shop a couple months ago, we had old halogen light bulbs on the entire you know, roof section and we wanted to upgrade to LEDs. So we're like, eh, how many lights do you think we need? We'll probably be good at like six. We'll put, you know, three here, and that will light up the whole shop. Long story short, we now have 20 LED lights throughout the entire shop area, and now it's finally pretty well lit. We'll probably end up adding a few more here and there, but for the most part, we finally have it kind of looking like daylight in here. For our storage room, uh, we've been adding, we had some shelves for all of our products, cleaning products, plastic dips, ceramic coatings. Uh, we finally got our toolbox here uh, with all our different tools. And we put up some shelves just for some scrap vinyl and we can store some car parts while they're disassembled from the car and not get anything confused. So that's very convenient. So here, obviously we're very like artistic doing vinyl wrap, things like that. So anything car related that's got some art behind it, we like to show off. So we have finally hung up four different pictures that we got. We wrapped the picture frames of them just to make the pictures pop. Um, the two on the ends are both oil paintings done by my sister. Um, this one is a print of an oil painting and this one is actually hand drawn with pencils and marker. So they're all super realistic, but they, they go pretty well in this little uh, hangout area. So we've spent about a week on this Boxster. Um, it was a little bit harder of an install than we thought because this film is actually super thick and we laminated it. So it's just taking us a little bit more time than normal. Plus the car is red, so we have to get every gap perfect. Otherwise you're gonna see some red coming through it. Um, so we just have a couple hard sections left, the back bumper. We've done a few inlays for it. Um, Q's working on this side, prepping the other side panel. You can see how much disassembly had to go into this car just to get some of the pieces off. So that Porsche is like halfway done. This Porsche is just starting. It's a 2006 911 Carrera. 
Uh, this car is white, so again, we're gonna have to do a lot of disassembly. So we got Alex starting to take off the door panels. Um, we gotta take the handles out. We gotta take the side mirrors out, take the lights out, um, take the wing off. And you can see we already took the front lights off, some of the badges. This car is going in an Avery Dennison uh, gloss light blue. So it's uh, it kind of matches one of the Porsche Porsche colors, so this will kind of be cool. Um, a little bit smaller project, we have this uh, Super Duty, 6.7 liter. On this one, uh, we're doing a full chrome delete, so we're turning all the chrome pieces and making it gloss black. And for the shop, uh, I finally picked up an office desk. Uh, there was a big business that was going out of sale, so they were selling them super cheap. So I wanted to get a mega desk. We just set it up. Uh, we gotta decorate, maybe probably wrap it, just to make it really pop, but this is pretty cool pretty useful. What's up guys? So we're wrapping up the week here at Diamond Graphics. It's kind of cool. We got three different Porsches here. We have a 08 Cayman. Um, this one came in for some accents and uh, we're replacing the radio, just updating it a little bit. Um, just some mechanical stuff. Then we have a 2012 Porsche Boxster. This one's getting that lime green wrap with the carbon accents. Q's working on the back bumper here, which was pretty difficult. We just did it. We needed three people and a lot of, lot of heat just because, again, this film is so thick. Um, and then we got a 2006 Porsche 911 Carrera. This one we just disassembled yesterday. Uh, we had to disassemble a lot of it because it's white and we're putting this Avery Dennison gloss blue film on it. So this will be pretty cool. I'll kind of show you the difference between the two films here. It might be hard to see on camera, but the difference between this Hexus film uh, that's laminated versus an Avery film, which is not laminated. So this film, you can kind of see how, how it stretches. It's pretty thin versus this film you see it's almost like paper you see how thick it is no stretch whatsoever so the difference in thickness of the film changes the install quality quite a lot so we this one's going to take us a lot longer because it's much harder to install so we'll see how they both turn out at the end they're both going to be pretty cool so again the difference between the hexis film which is the green film and the avery film which is the blue film just to kind of give you a video or just to give you a demonstration on video, I'm just gonna do a stretch test with both so you can kind of see the difference. So you can see the Hexus film isn't really, I'm putting a lot, a lot, a lot of heat on it and I'm gonna give it a stretch. And this, the interesting part about this film is it also discolors pretty easy versus this film, I touch a little bit of heat that stretch is way different. We actually made a video a while back comparing like five or 10 different films. So if you wanna check out that video, we'll link it to it for some more in depth about how some different films react. You guys will be seeing these projects getting wrapped up in the next week or so. We're also gonna do individual videos on both of these two cars. So stay tuned for that. If you guys like what you see, obviously like and subscribe. And if you got questions about vinyl, feel free to leave us a message.